<laughs> there we go. Nice job, first shot. Thank you. All right. Hey guys, good morning from you know where, beautiful Southern Nevada. Hey, my son and I, today we're gonna do a fun video. Check out this beauty, huh? Single shot, 410 pistol. So, let's get started. So I've wanted one of these for quite a while, and man, it's just been very, very hard to find. And I walked into a sporting goods store the other day, and bam, they had one left on sale for 199 bucks. And these retail for about $260. So I thought, oh, 199 yeah, let's get and do a review on it. Now, this is chambered in 410. I can shoot two and a half or three inch shells. And I can also shoot 45 long Colt. Look at that, huh? Uh, let's just uh, show you some close-up video while I'm talking about it. Yeah, the uh, frame on this is polymer. Does have a steel barrel, which is nine inches in length. Got a nice rubber grip on it. And again, it will shoot two and a half and three inch shells. It weighs 37 ounces. The overall length is about 14 inches. And the height is just under six inches. And it does use a transfer bar, so you can carry this with a, a round in the chamber and, of course, with the safety on. And it actually does have sights on it, and it also has this Picatinny rail. Really just kind of a cool looking uh, single shot. All right, so you know what? We're going we're gonna to shoot it just like this for a couple of rounds, and then I'm going to put a, uh, a Bushnell TRS-25 red dot. Going to mount it right here and uh, get it sighted in and uh, see how it's going to work with this red dot on it. So you know what? I think it's time to shut up and shoot. Hey, guys, before we start shooting, let's take a look at my ammo. Got some Winchester triple odd buckshot. There's three pellets in here. Remington eight shot, two and a half inch. Winchester six shot, again two and a half inches. And I have some Remington three inch, seven and a half shot. Hey guys, I am not going to shoot slugs through my uh, pistol today. And why is that? One, I don't have any. <laughs> and two, Page 14, owner's manual, says right here, do not use slug ammunition. Slugs are unsafe in these guns. All right, so this is brand new. I have not shot this yet. So at about 10 yards, I'm going to fire two rounds of 45 Colt, and then I'm going to fire two rounds of Remington 8 shot, just to kind of get the feel of this and check out the sights on it. Ah, let's try that again. That should pop out of there. You son of a gun. And I will pick up this brass when I'm done. One more 45 here. Not much recoil. Well, that's a big disappointment. It has a pretty strong extractor on it all right 410 both of those shots are in the red by the way got a little bit of a kick to it there we go that's what I'm talking about Stay right there, son. 
All right, come on up. Let's take a look at this. I tell you, that's pretty wide at just uh, 10 yards or so. All right, I'm going to try a six shot at about six yards. Nice. Go ahead and pop that open. Whoa, watch the camera. <laughs> Don't forget about that. Hey guys, you know what? I'm going to shoot this silhouette here with a uh, buckshot. Again, three pellets. I think I'll get back about six yards and aim center of mass. All right, let's see what happens. That had a pretty good kick to it. Look at that. That's a pretty good pattern at uh, six yards. Oh. Hey son, can I shoot your hat? Yeah, just don't shoot it while I'm wearing it. Hey son. Yeah. I got that uh, can of tomatoes out at 40 yards. You think you can hit it with a 45 slug? Well, I'm going to give it a heck of a shot. All right, let's get set up. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh, I don't know if I hit the can or the wood, but... Well, we're going to walk up there. Go ahead, unload, and we'll walk up there. Oh. Uh-oh. A good thing you worked on this last night, huh, Pops? Okay. Oh, well. Let's try that again. Hey, you know, in defense of my son, the sights on this, you know, they're pretty crude, but... I think I know where it's hitting now after watching him, so I'm going to take a couple shots. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Wait. All right. Come on up, son. Ooh. Now I'm going to be honest with you, that was my first shot. Alright, you know what, the critters are going to love this. Wait. Hey, so I did mount the uh, Bushnell red dot on this. We took a few rounds. I think it sighted in at 40 yards. So 
I set up a can of shaving cream about 40 yards out. My son's going to try and redeem himself. Son, I'm going to give you one shot. You up for it? Yep. All right, let's do it. Oh, there we go. Nice job, first shot. Thank you. All right. What do you think of that? Oh, it's a lot of fun. I like it. Hey, it's a shotgun, right? Might as well throw something up and see if I can hit it. Hey guys, I got this old car. It's been shot up. It's no good. So I'm going to shoot the door with a buckshot and see what happens. Come on, son. Look at that, huh? Why don't you come around and I'll open up the door. Oh yeah, right there. All right, let's try the windshield. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, three inch bird shot into the door. Hey, you know what? We're going to hang it up, but I'll tell you what, we had a blast shooting this today. I'm really glad I bought it. Well worth a couple hundred bucks. Uh, just know that the action is very stiff. When you first get it, it has loosened up quite a bit, so it, it will loosen up the more you use it. Uh, the chamber tends to get pretty dirty when you're shooting 45 and uh, shot shells through this. A couple of times uh, the shells were kind of hard to put in, and sometimes it would eject the 45 cases and sometimes it would not, so that might improve over time as it breaks in, but really like it. But anyways, guys, hey, thanks for watching our video. Hit that like button, subscribe. Really do appreciate it. I've got a 45 long coat hollow point. Look at that beauty, huh? Check this out. Oh, thanks for watching.